Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, yo, 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 it's your host KLP Kennedy Lucas from our hit radio shows of KLP Aftermath and The Heat. Now, you guys notice that there's a new show from our podcasting networks. Of course, real brief, we, we have our guest here, of course, on, on the podcast, the first ever. Man, you should be you should be so excited. I see it, see it in your face, but uh, this is the Beyond Swanky podcast, a, a new show that we're introducing to our networks. Uh, we're introducing a lot of things coming up in the next few months, but starting this month, the month of beautiful October, uh, this is the Beyond Swanky podcast premiere. Uh, this is a show that we want to do. We we're gonna do this weekly, right? We'll have guest appearances, guests stars other podcasters hit podcasters uh podcasters that speak the truth podcasters that talk about all kinds of crazy shit yes this this these this beyond beyond the swanky podcast is going to be a pg-13 type of show i'm excited uh this was a surprise uh, and we've got our guest star here we're gonna let him introduce himself in a minute um but guys we also got t on a mic on this one what's going on folks of course, it's your main man, Tyrus Lester. Uh, typically, y'all hear me behind. Well, y'all don't hear me at all because, you know, it's rare that I get behind a mic and, and, and really uh, speak my truth. But you guys remember, I came aboard for KLP Entertainment in 2015. And we started doing this podcasting thing ever since then. And. I let Kennedy. I let I let you have the show. Like you're 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 the speaker. I'm just the producer, uh, financial officer, CFO for KLP Entertainment. Been here for what? What's what's going on, Kennedy? Like ten years. So when you approach this idea of the Beyond Swanky podcast, it's another show that where we're giving the people. But we're also having guest speakers speak on our show, and then we kind of interact, and you know, we let you, we let them talk about it. So it's good to be in, in front of a computer producing the show, but with a mic too, so I can help chime in as well. So I appreciate it. You are so welcome, T. You know, T, you 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 the man. You you made us blossom for years, and you know, I know we've changed the shows and we've changed a lot of things, but this is this is something that's going to be very very special to our audi- audiences and other audiences around the world of course uh we're going to have the show premiere on both radio stations by the way guys swanky 93.3 and the heat 94.6 so let's get on to it we got this special guest go ahead and introduce yourself man i'm excited ah mandem 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 you know, uh, they call me an equal opportunity dickhead. Man, that's all right, because they sometimes, so no, none of my fans call me that, but, you know, I know I can be a bit of a dickhead when it comes to my show, so, yeah. They call me uh, uh, the, 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 the everybody reaper. Uh, I come for everyone, and I leave nothing behind. Um, so y'all already know when I popped out with the, with the things that shorties do that 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 mandem can't do i had to make sure to also have the things that mandem do that shorties can't really do uh you know because we we believe in equality over here that's always important when we believe in e- equality and we we do that on our shows as well man because um we we have to make sure we cater to our audiences and Sometimes that could be a little bit challenging when, when trying to do that and trying to figure out what to say, what's the right moment to say something. Will that affect people? Will, will somebody be uh, truly upset about us saying that certain topic because we're not being uh, equal with it? So, so without further ado, uh, let's get right into the shit. Now, again, I have to really, um, I have to really, uh, reiterate um that if you a bitch and you know you want to be upset by anything that i said um that's just on you and go like reevaluate your life or whatever do therapy or whatever the fuck i don't know Ooh, he said it y'all 
No, so this is true. As what Kennedy said earlier, y'all, this 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 show's going to be a tremendously good show, by the way. But um, similar to the Heat, I don't know, Kennedy, Kennedy, you might have breached on that. You might have touched on that. But uh, yeah, this, this show may not be for everybody, right? And we, we say that, and, and Kennedy, you say it on the Heat um, not so much KLP Aftermath, because that's kind of a PG kind of thing, but uh, within the heat and beyond the Swinky Podcast new show here tonight, uh, yeah, this show's not going to be for everybody. So, we before we get into any topics, my man, uh, we have to kind of let that out, because I know a lot of people might find offense. This is just our opinions. These are just our opinions. This is not factual facts. Although during during our series, we're going to um, give some some facts to some of our stories, but some things are just from our perspective. So, uh, sorry, man, I had to I had to bring that out there before before our fan base get mad. Um, because yeah, like uh, just shit that I be saying. I'm taking subjective things and things that I've been through in my life and objective fact and now combining it together to then come with the conclusions that I've come up with. Again, so sit back, uh, maybe get a drink. Um, maybe you're with a, a loved one, chilling, get out some snacks, you know what I mean? Um, and and uh, hopefully you enjoy the episode. Um, now. First thing that I got to talk about right off the back is that name calling shit. Oh man. And I got to call up myself for this too. Cause I call everybody names. I'm a name caller King. You know, I'm, I'm a name call. I'm a name callerologist. You know, like I, I like to call people names. Um, usually I try and stay away from the ones that are just objectively mean and the ones that are more like funny or, you know, silly, if you will. Uh, but a lot of you niggas be out here calling shorties the most horrific names, like some of the worst names, like y'all be calling them bitches, hoes, like, like in regular conversation, <laughs> I hear niggas be calling shorties all sorts of names in just regular, normal conversation. I also wanted to tackle on our, this is the first topic that, you know, I hear it too. Right. I hear it a whole lot. I hear it at the gym. Uh, I necessarily don't hear it at my place of, of work, but it's normally the gym or if I'm out going to dinner with friends, I sometimes see it. If I'm out going out clubbing, I see it or, or I hear it rather. I hear it a lot when we were in New York and T, you can contest this too. I hear you. Hey, bitch. Hey, shorty. Hey, ho. Hey, heifer. You know, all these name callings from from gentlemen and for me i always wanted to know why why men do that why do we call women by not their names right and also why women some women i'm gonna say why some women answer to it right it, why it's like it's like the old school when you're doing a hoo hoo call they're they're responding to it they're acting to it they're they're responding to a hey, bitch hey ho hey shorty you know um i always wondered that and i hear it a a lot nowadays and especially from these younger generations and you'd be surprised man there's like 17 18 year olds they're they're calling they're using these words i'm like whoa like how did you and I'm sure they know how they, they heard the name, but it's like, well, why do you feel the need to call somebody uh, by that name? I'm always confused about that, it's especially in the younger generation. Um, which is insanity, which is literal insanity <laughs> when you think about it. I was watching uh, Boys in the Hood, which if anybody knows me, Boys in the Hood, my favorite movie of all time. Uh, yeah that's a good one I, I think i actually have a cousin that was in that movie I, I gotta ask my mom about that because i know uh, my mom always tell me hey yeah your cousin's in that movie and i googled her before and you know she's from uh milledgeville so i believe we're we're long distant distant cousins but yeah great movie i agree yeah my favorite movie of all time hands down and there's one scene where you know regina king she turns to Ice Cube and she's like, why you always got to call women bitches? Mm, yeah, I remember that scene. And she's like, because they and he's like, because they bitches. 
uh sorry what would you like? then he says like would you like me to call you ho or something like that and she's like why you gotta call women hoes oh yeah you know like all that shit and she's like cheesed about that and kind of moves on from it we have taught shorties that that's what they deserve to be called like that is what they are which in fact they are not that agreed i'm not sitting here trying to be on that fake feminist wave bro like calm down i'm not doing that this is just again objective this is objective fact you know what I mean? Like, this is objectively not a good thing to be doing. Like, you should not be referring to shorties as bitches. Nowadays, you, you see women are more, they're more, in, women are more independent nowadays, of course. But a, a lot of women, they don't respond well to that now. Back in the day in the setting that it was, it was, I wouldn't say it was acceptable. But back in the day, they, you know, answer to that, that word, bitches. And now, nowadays, if you go up to somebody and say, hey, bitch, you know, they, 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 that, they, they, that's very offensive, right? And you have to be careful because you might get cussed out. You might get slapped down. You might be embarrassed in front of your, your home dogs, your homies. So I think women are now being more acceptive to not answer to those calls. And they are more protective uh, when it comes to that name. I call shorty shorties. Um, now you know feel free for us to have a sit down conversation let me know if if you as a girl or as a, a woman as a lady uh believe that um shorty is also derogatory because i will not stop but please let me know if you think that but like things like bitches hoes uh sluts what, whatever other derogatory you know like <laughs> like like shit like that yeah there's trick and thought like, niggas do that get away with it but the second somebody call us a name, keep it a buck, keep it a buck, keep it a buck, keep it a buck, keep it a buck 50. Okay. Be, be for real for a second. All right. The second they call us a name, all of a sudden, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, your ego's a little, eh, your ego's a little, eh, you know, your ego's a little, eh, you know what I mean? Your ego's a little twisted doing, doing some, your ego's doing a little ribbon dancing, you know, because... I ain't never seen a nigga that, that was called a bitch take that lightly. That is so true because, and I, and maybe I'm guilty of this too, because if, <laughs> if a woman called me off my name, uh, you know, I, I will feel some type of way. It That really depends, in my opinion, of who you're around. Because really, y you and your homies, me and my homies, all of our homies in the studio, you know, not saying us, but sometimes we in the, we often get hype from our homies, our home dogs, homeboys, whoever's chilling with us, whatever dude friend we have around us when confronting in not in a good, bad way, but when you're confronting a lady in front of your boys, you want to see, you want to show a little bit of well, not me, but you want to show a little bit of dominance. And when the, when your girlfriend, your lady friend, cuss you out, call you a bitch, call you a nigga, you know, then your ego is like you said, your ego is gone. And it's worse when you have your, your your homies around and they say, oh, don't let her call. Don't let her call you like out your name like that. You better set her straight. You know, we were often uh, taught in that stereotype that, hey, my homies are here. They hyping me up right now. They got me heated. Let me let me let me act like I know what I'm doing. Let me let me let me not be punked out in front of my friends. So. Uh, and that's what I've seen with a lot of lot of friend mates uh, around uh, around the scenario where they're getting <laughs> punked out by the girl. And then it's like, hey, don't let her punk you, you know. So agree. The egos do get get twisted all in, in a dancing frenzy. I'm just leave that there. You know, what I mean, I'm just some someone some someone out there who's been called a bitch and got their feelings hurt. Got, gonna have to hug that. You know, I've never seen a nigga be called a hoe and be like, you know. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? like that that's kind of crazy which actually then doubly makes it disrespectful to women because we have taken words that are supposed to disrespect women and they become more disrespectful when these words are then used on us which is kind of crazy <laughs> which is super crazy um and this is a super l that we need to hug bro like we need to hug that um like we need to hug that um and let me keep it a buck and i really need y'all to listen when i say this i am not saying that men 
lie more than women because we lie the equal amounts. I agree. Uh, I wanted to chime in on that one because we're, we're often known that, and there's a stereotype, and there's actually a saying, Kennedy, that's out there. Uh, women, women always be lying. You got to watch women. They lie too much. And I wonder why that is, right? Because you, you can't be sneaky, right? And if you try to be sneaky, I do agree with you, man. It's, it's both sides of the spectrum. It's both men and women that lies equally. And we, I feel like we have to break that, that stigma of, okay, um, you know, she's, she's not lying more than he does. It's all equal in this equation. Um, but it's a stereotype to say, oh, women always be lying more than men. But when it comes, when it comes to usually sexual or romantic relationships, you don't have to be dating this and that. And the outcomes of these things, usually, this is just our experience, us niggas, we, we like to cap a little more. I don't know if it's an ego thing. Well, it could be an ego thing. I don't, you know go, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me give you an example. Okay. Say I have a shorty. Okay. Say, say me and the shorty are together for six months. Okay. Okay. Say uh, we've been together for six months. Everything was going great. However, I, however, I was caught cheating with her sister. Mm hmm not saying that this is something that actually happened at all. I'm just saying, let's say that happened. Okay. Now she's going to go exaggerate probably, but the gist of it is I was sleeping with her sister. Okay. Now me, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is go and, you know, say, uh, yeah, you know, she thought that I was doing shit, even though I wasn't, blah, 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 blah. Now, me personally wouldn't do that. I have done that to keep it real. When I was a when I was a, a less enlightened young man, I have done that. But I wouldn't do that. But madam, we all know them dogs <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. We all know them dogs who really sit there and put that on their mama, grandmama. Oh, God, I put that on everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Dead ancestors. They, they, they put the swab in ancestry.ca. They put that on all them niggas from everywhere around the world. They put that on Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus. Like they put that on the solar system, the entire existence of the observable universe. They put that on that they were not doing that and that she was overreacting. But at the end of the day, you was actually straight raw dogging deep dick diving michael phelps women <laughs> no not michael phelps <laughs> deep diving fucking serena williams slapping <laughs> michael jordan dunking zion williams and windmill in that shorty sister's pussy. down in reality you was just there straight putting eyes ears mouth and nose in her sister's pussy and that's really the, the truth of it. But because uh, a lot of mandem, they have the ego. Not every single one. Not every single one, cry baby ass niggas. Not every single one. A lot of the mandem, though. We have, you know, a little ego problem sometimes. No, the, you're, what you're saying is valid. Because a lot of dudes, when they have their egos and it's been bruised, they take it heart, Right. And that's something personally for me that I'm trying to work on, too, because, uh, I, I, you know, we I don't think I ever told you this personally about it. But, you know, you know, my birthday's in May. So um, us Taurus bull, that's our sign, Taurus bull, we're, we're stubborn. Right. And we, we tend to have a little bit of ego when it comes to our stubbornness because we want something done uh, a certain way. Um, but to your point, yeah. A lot of dudes have huge ego problems when it gets bruised or when it's get harmed. And when Pete, when dudes ego egos are bruised, they, like you said, they do 
tend to cry, right? They tend to cry out. They tend to go to social media. They tend to be all in their feelings because their ego has been damaged. Their reputation has been damaged when it came to ego. And I think a lot of guys have to learn to be a little bit more sensitive. Referring back to me being a Taurus bull, even though we're stubborn, we're also sensitive when it comes to love and relationships. So um, it's interesting that we don't have a lot of guys become more sensitive to certain topics not saying be super sensitive to everything but to be a little bit sensitive to something that would be great so that way you're not imposing on that e- that ego so much but that's hard to find in in our generation you are more likely to uh twizzlers if y'all are into candy y'all are gonna twizzlers uh a tail you know um Instead of just saying it like it is, because, you know, maybe you're a little embarrassed or maybe you're upset you got caught. Hey, man, you know, it happens to not me. But, you know, like I'm sure for the rest of y'all, it'd be it'd be rough out here, you know. So, yeah, you know, that shit happens. And again, like I keep it above 50. It present day me could never. However, it has been me. It has been me like it's been a lot of us. You know, it has been me. Uh, I have definitely sat here and said, yo, like, you know, you know, sure, she was just kind of wiling and I didn't do anything wrong and she was just kind of wiling. No, that's cap, though. You know what I mean? That's kind of, that. that's the, sh- I'm capping and I'm capping and I'm capping. You know what I mean? Like, it's- Yeah, that's true for me. Um, I actually went to an event um, last week and one of our mutual friends, Kennedy, I'm not going to name his name, but <laughs> shout out to him. But, um, and I had clearance to talk about this too. Um, we went to that event, you know what I'm talking about. And, you know, um, he was with his girl and, you know, they had an argument. Well, they were arguing before they even got there. You can tell the tension when they came into the room, they were arguing about something and she was, she was just wilding, you know, she was getting it in, but you know, she was yelling, but then she hung up with the girls. The, the girl, our mutual girlfriends, they came to the event as well. And she went off on him for, for a good minute around around us. And she went to hang up with the girls. And I pulled on them side. I said, hey, you all right? And then he said the same thing. Oh, she's just wilding. She's just wilding. I didn't do anything wrong. She's just on it tonight. But then he really tells us the story. And then I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's your fault too. Maybe you have something, had something to do with it. And maybe that's why y'all both are acting like this. It's, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's a little corrupt out here. Uh, and again, it could be on a sex thing. Yeah, I was dealing with her and she was coming this amount of time. She was screaming my name. Which, I mean, maybe she was. <laughs> maybe she was however however and i spoke about this in my last video i spoke about this it's the same principle with the ladies sure sure you know but when you're moving like there's absolutely nothing at all that you could pr- improve on in the bedroom i already know you capping bro I already know you capping, bro. Like, you are moving like you're Anderson Silva with his 16-fight win streak. You're moving like you're Khabib. Like, don't don't move like that. Sometimes, you know, even Anderson Silva lost. You know what I mean? Sometimes he lost a few times. He made mistakes a lot of the time. You know, it's, it's, it happens. So don't sit here and lie and cap. Like, it's not worth it. Uh, you know, and, and this is one of the things that I feel like we do more than the shorties so that you have an, an idea instead of messaging me first, crying like a bitch. See the irony crying <laughs> about it, bro. Like, don't be doing that. Another thing that niggas be doing that niggas love to do that. I don't see shorties doing as much niggas love to do that I don't see shorties doing as much is we do not support each other as much as girls do. Hell no, we don't. And that makes me mad. 
It really do. Because let me tell you, our women in this world, they got each other's back. They do. We watch, I watch Tyler Perry sisters. I know, I know T T laughing at me because cause I'm a Tyler Perry fan. But no, it's true. We, we, we need to start having our brothers back on some things. And I think it's what we mentioned earlier in today's show. Like it's, it's the ego thing, right? And when your ego gets bruised, you feel some type of way that, man, I don't want my other brother's help, right? And we have to, as gentlemen, we have to make sure that we have each other's back on certain situations because sometimes, most of the times we don't. We really don't. We want to see each other fail. Like we're either trying to fail on each other or we're trying to compete with each other. And with the sisters, with the women, they all trying to win together. I know what you're going to say. Well, Coco, you was just saying in the other episode that shorties love to do that fake empowerment, that fake support shit. And that's true. They do do that more than men. I've seen it too. But when you say that just like in general, trying to support each other in general. In general, is support in general. We don't, we we hate doing that. I don't know what it is about niggas not wanting to see other niggas winning. We just don't, we, wow. We just don't want to see niggas winning at all. Is there y'all okay? Y'all all right? Are y'all all right? Because if y'all are my niggas, even people who I and I explained this in the last episode too. Got to reiterate, I explained this. But if you doing something productive and you doing something to better yourself and you're chasing your dreams, I support that. I support that. The shit that I fuck with, I just fuck with. Whether we're brothers, whether we're dogs, whether I don't even know you, I couldn't, can't even know you on a personal level. But if I see the shit you're doing, I'm like, wow, that's pretty sick. You know, I will not, I will never be sitting here hating, but niggas love to hate out loud on other niggas. Shorties like to hate behind closed doors, behind backs. Some might say that's like a, a respectful thing, but it could be a little sneaky thing too. Um, but when women hate they don't they don't put it out on blast they don't they don't embarrass you they embarrass you behind or they at least try to embarrass you behind closed doors but niggas love to hate out loud audibly on other niggas is what why are y'all like that why are y'all like that as a shorty would say it's giving insert whatever there you know like insert whatever whatever bar you want to put there but y'all hate on niggas so much. There have been niggas who sat there, like really sit there and be like, yeah, I don't know you on a personal level, but I hate you. I, I've seen that happen before. My response to that, if somebody told me that, I'd be like, bro, I don't even know you. So how can you hate somebody? I don't even know you. I don't even know nothing about you. But it is true. Niggas be hating. I do not like you at all. Okay. First of all, I don't care. But then it's also like, wait a second, but why though? Why are you so audibly hate me for no reason at all? Why are we, t- are we just taught to hate niggas when they're doing well? Should I blame white people for that? I think I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and go on record and go ahead and blame white people for that because it just sounds like something that they would do. But like, that's something that shorties, you don't see, be seeing seen them do a lot. They be all, all on that fake shit which I still agree with. They be a lot on that fake shit. However, when it comes to the niggas, they be sitting there and they be like, yo, like they, they be sitting there and actually capping. Um, not, sorry, not capping, excuse me. They be sitting there and they're like, yeah, I don't like you. Cannot give you a good reason. They don't like you because you exist, whatever, okay? And then that's usually the problem. I think I think the problem is um, dudes who might see other dudes, uh, being successful, um, being successful at something, whether it's making more money in a project or being available to some, something else. Uh, I've had friends, not my current friends, but I had older friends, um, to not like me for an example, because we've had, you know, music being distributed or, or a film that we just got wrapped on. And when I post these things on social media and, and I'm excited to celebrate my success, I have dudes to come out and say, Hey, I don't like Kennedy. And I often ask why. And I say, Hey, why do you not like me? Um, 
and they bring up my movie or they bring out the music and so and in my mind i said okay so you're not mad at me you you don't hate me you hate that the success that i'm bringing in for myself and maybe this is speculation in my opinion maybe you're wishing you had that success maybe you're wishing that you thought of the idea so that could be your success so you could be successful you could win in this industry and that's what i think that could be the the concept of it that you know, dudes not like another dudes because of their success and how successful that they are. Um, just, a, just a fact. That's the problem usually, and we just so audibly do that. We will quietly. We are scared to support each other. Like I feel like we are genuinely scared. Y'all are scared. Y'all are scared to support each other. What's going on, bro? When the homies win, you win, homie. Come on. Come on, y'all need to like y'all need to chill out with that shit, bro. Cause it's really weird. It's really weird and suspicious, bro. Like that's weird, bro. You can't be out here hating for no reason at all. For no reason. You got no reason at all to be sitting here hating like the way you do. The way you do. Cause girl, the way you make me feel ass niggas, bro. Like the way you making me feel when you hating is very weird and uncomfortable, bro. Very weird and uncomfortable. Y'all need to calm the fuck down with that shit, bro. Y'all need to calm the fuck down. Agreed. Um, and this is, we we have to, to your point, uh, earlier, Coco, we have to make sure we, we support each other because we're living in today's society, and I've said this on our our shows as well. We're living in the this society where we this is the time when we need to unify right and there's no politics into our shows whatsoever there's no politic in, politics into this one um but it's it's shameful when we we're trying to bring each other down especially in the black community when we really should be unifying each other because of today's society th- because of where we live because of the injustice because of the the quote unquote white privilege because of the bigotry uh because of our our names getting disshamed right um and and go on record here on the show you know we don't believe in uh we we don't believe in hate for any culture whether you're white black indian asian but this is the time where we need to unify and we're not based off what i'm saying and i told co-workers and, and colleagues that i feel like people in our black culture we're not supporting each other we're so busy trying to keep compete with each other and we're not holding hands and, and staying unified against whoever's against us. And we all know who's against us. Again, we're not going to go there on this show. But, you know, we, we know who's against us. And they want to see our culture fail. And I think we're sometimes, sometimes on some days, we're failing each other. Because we're so busy, again, trying to compete with each other. And that's why I get frustrated. That's where me and T both, we get pissed off and frustrated because we're not unifying uh you have a brother tearing down another brother you got a brother tearing down a sister where the other quote-unquote competitors other races again won't go harshly there on the show but they're trying to see us fail and we're failing each other because we're not supporting each other right um so that's why we we continue the movement for you know black lives matter we continue the movement for uh hashtag black owned businesses because that now is the time when we need to unify and we we have to we we got to unify our brothers we, we got to stay unified we can't we, we have to stop being so busy looking over the shoulder and saying what your brother's doing and start looking what's in front of you and that's also another problem that we're facing like really calm the fuck down because we do need to be uplifting each other and not holding each other down. Like, even when it's from afar, you like, even that from afar shit can hold a nigga down. You know what I mean? We need to stop doing that, man. And I'm like, I, I don't, I really don't appreciate that. Um, and y'all need to stop doing that shit because shorties don't be doing that. At least, at least when shorties do actually support each other, at least you know it, you know? Like, at least you know that they're actually sitting there and doing that. Even the fake supporting shit. At least it's somehow getting their names out there, you know. At least it's somehow giving them a little bit of positivity throughout the day. Niggas will just be like, no, I hate you, and that's that. And I'm telling you that every time I see you. I do not like you. I will hide from you. I will not be in your presence. I will do, like, wow. And sometimes niggas, like I said, niggas don't even do anything to each other. They just, they don't know each other on a personal level sometimes. And they'll just be like, yeah, I dislike you. And that's that. 
<laughs> which is kind of crazy to me. Yeah, I agree. It's it's a little crazy, and me being optimistic, you and, and Google they'll tell you here, Kelp Entertainment. We we we're, I'm very optimistic when it comes to her business, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Um, but we just have to keep going, and we have to keep looking forward, and just keep keep looking ahead, not looking behind, and remember to stay blessed and highly favored, and hopefully our our fellow brothers. We'll catch on to our vibe. So that's going to wrap it up here on today's or tonight's show here today. A premiere special episode of Beyond the Beyond Swanky podcast with your host, K.L. Pekinity Lucas. Tyrus Lester has been on the mic and Coco. Thank you so much for coming to the studio. We love your stories as always. And that's the show, guys. That's what our show is going to be about. The Beyond Swanky podcast having different uh, guest hosts, different podcasters, different influencers come on the show. And we, we just kind of pick their brain on what they talked about and, you know, what they want to talk about. And we, we premiered on, on our radio station. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the, if you're listening to the audio version of it, thank you so much. We're talking Spotify, our heard radio, iTunes, Apple podcast, Google podcast, and so much more share it with your friends. So that way you guys don't miss, uh, of course us going live tonight. And also if you're watching the video version now, there will be a video version. We were in the studio. We won't have the cameras rolling because it's late night and these are the best times just to get our guest host in the studio uh, for us to talk about these current topics. So no cameras in front of our faces, but of course we always make sure that we give you guys a great show uh, as well. So again, if you're watching the video version on YouTube, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at KLP Entertainment. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you guys don't miss when we upload our next new content again that's going to wrap it up here the beyond swanky podcast all of our cast and crew here for the podcast we thank you we thank you for tuning in and as always we like to say stay safe stay swanky peace